and welcome to the Hacienda Rivet here. Today we're going to make something fantastic from Greece. Uh, earlier this week I was looking through this uh, cookbook here and I found a delicious recipe um, for vegetables. Uh, it's called Bamias and uh, it's bas basically uh, vegetables au gratin. Um, we got one pound of each of these vegetables that you see with the exception of green pepper that's not one pound we just need one of those we've got goat cheese and I'm gonna also add some feta cheese as well although it doesn't call for it in the recipe oregano thyme and of course of course salt and pepper now the showcase and the star of this is the Greek olive oil here we have Greek uh, olive oil from Sparta Greece and it's from an outfit out in California the idol uh, or idyll uh, company um, and what they do, they've partnered with small uh, local farmers in Greece, in Sparta, who raise uh, olive oil, uh, excuse me, olive trees. And uh, they help sustain small time uh, economies like that. And they purchase their uh, olive oil that's cold pressed and made over there and um, produced, and they distribute it here. So I'm going to put a link to their website uh, down in the notes below. You go check them out. That's some outstanding quality uh, olive oil there. And uh, we're going to taste it here while I make the um, video. But we definitely wanted uh, true Greek olive oil for this recipe. And uh, let's go ahead and so make it. So we got the uh, ingredients all uh, cut up properly. Uh, the tomatoes chunked uh, and these cut like so bell peppers. What I forgot to say is you also needed a uh, bunch of flat leaf parsley which we've rinsed and chopped. Now uh, I made a mistake earlier. Uh, the name of this recipe is Briami. Uh, when I said Bamias, uh, I was thinking about the Bamias Ladres that I made earlier, the uh, Greek okra. And I'll put a link here in the cards uh, where you can check out that video if you want. That was delicious. Alright, to finally mix the Briami properly, I had to get out the uh, stock pot uh, that I make spaghetti in. Now we're going to add two tablespoons each uh, oregano and thyme leaf, uh, one teaspoon coarse ground black pepper, and two teaspoons sea salt. Uh, we're going to mix that in together again and then put it in the casserole. Join All right, now we got the briami in, uh, in a turkey roaster. This uh, recipe, uh, wow, turned out to be a lot more bulky than it looked in the in the book. But anyway, we're going to use this idle uh, extra virgin olive oil from Sparta. Um, we're going to start out by using a cup of this. Now, earlier I tried a teaspoon of this stuff. Oh my goodness, fantastic. Nice peppery finish, uh, flavor. It's uh, good and fresh and grassy. Everything you want from a very good uh, olive oil. So we're going to start out with a cup and drizzle it over like so. And uh, due to the size of this, I think we're going to add a little bit more. Can't go wrong. I don't know. Let's just end up saying about a cup and a half. Okay? And uh, to that, we're going to add a cup of water. Now, the recipe says uh, you may need to add water uh, during the cooking some more, but we're going to start out with a cup. And it's going inside a 350-degree oven for an hour. Uh, then we'll check it, and we'll check for roasting time. Okay, here we are two hours at uh, 350 this stuff is looking beautiful and the smell is oh my goodness unbelievable we're gonna add <clears throat> feta cheese a container of that sprinkle around that's a six ounce container and then we got uh, an eight ounce tube of uh, goat's cheese which we're gonna dot like so okay once that's done we're going to put it back under the broiler. All right, after uh, about two hours at 350 and then a couple minutes in the broiler, the cheese is melty and starting to get brown, and it's uh, looking delicious. Oh, the smell is just beautiful. So let's go ahead and get a serving of this beauty and deliciousness, and let's give it a try. Oh, yum. Got to have some tomato. We got some eggplant. Of course, a piece of cheese, too. Can't skip that. Oh, look at this. Wow. Okay. All right, let's try it. Uh, let's try some zucchini first. Ooh, I know I'm going to burn myself. It's hot. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Absolutely fantastic. 
Delicious olive oil too. Perfect dish. Thanks for watching, people. You have a great day.